Hey guys, it's Peggy Dean of The Pigeon Letters. You might remember a little video that I just showed you on how to find any platform that somebody is using on their website. So this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to find any font that somebody is using on their website. And it's super easy. You know, we've been walking, you know, walking, <laughs> walking through perusing somebody's website and seeing a font that we fall in love with. And we're like, how the heck do I, you know, find out what font it is? And then you can't. And then you're like, gosh, dreaming about that font. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super, super easy. I'm going to show you on both Google Chrome and Safari. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I have gotten permission from a few of my friends to use their websites as examples. The first way that I'm going to show you how to find a font on a website is by using the Chrome browser. So the first website I'm going to is CassieYost.com, who is a, an amazing wedding photographer. All I want to do is, let's say I love some font that's going on, I can highlight and select right click and say inspect, or I can just click anywhere on the page and say inspect. From here, you will see a developer tab show up on the right hand side. Her website is still showing up on the left hand side. And all I have to do is go over to sources. And from sources, you will see that I have fonts right here. I can toggle down and then I see exactly everything that's happening with these fonts. So she uses something, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but Cormorant Garamond. Garamond. I feel like I don't know how to pronounce any font. But basically, and so you can scroll down and see she also uses Montserrat, Nunito Sands, Pinion Script. So literally everything that's on her website as far as fonts go are going to live in this font family. I'm also going to show you another website as an example. Now I could have closed this, but I could also keep it open right here. You will see actually keeping it open still shows Cassie's. So I'm going to click away and then click back. There we go. Now I'm on Brooke and I can go to fonts right here. Click on below there. You will see she uses something called Grand Hotel. Is this Josephine or Josephine? Josephine sounds right. <laughs> okay. She uses Playfair display. She uses, that might be it. But basically, oh, railway. So you'll see the families right here. And then the last example is my own website. Looks like that loaded, no problem. I'm gonna see fonts here, right here. Click down and click the CSS. So I use Libre, Libre, <laughs> Franklin. If you go down, I know I use other ones. So Work Sans I use, and I'll just show you that I have some italic. Scrolling down, I've got, I think I have an, oh, I guess those are the only two fonts. Look at me go. <laughs> but that's how you see on Chrome. Now I can also go to Safari and do the same thing. So here's how you do it on Safari. Go to Cassios.com. I'm going to right click inspect element. It's going to pull up the developer tab on the bottom now. So I'm going to go to sources and then I'm going to toggle down fonts and you can see right here, it's got them all here for you. So I've got DM Sam's, Ortica, whatever, but I can also come in here and there's a search bar or you can just select command F and then say font. And then you will see right here, it has found where font is and then I can go through here and see what fonts are being used. So I can click over, so she's got Arial. This is a more intense way to do it, but you will see a lot, all the code that's used. You can also click in font family. Whoops, I think it has to have a dash. Yeah, font dash family, and you'll see Ortica Light, uh, Mazius, blah, 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 which is all the same stuff that you see on this side. And really quickly, I'm going to run outside where my charger is because otherwise my computer will die. So I apologize in advance for any noise, but as we're getting into this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the next website, example, Paper Playgrounds. And then I'm going to go over, see I'm in sources right here. I go toggle over to fonts. So this doesn't really tell me much. It shows, and this is because it's a, just a different web host, so it's going to come up differently. It's showing me the fonts, but it's not necessarily showing me what they are. So from there, I can just stay on sources, go back to her website. There we go. And then in the search bar, say font-family. And then I can see, so she's got Arial. It's just a little more, <laughs> it's a little more intense because of all this code, but I see Helvetica. Ariel, it's a sans serif, so that's how you find that. Lastly, on the pigeonletters.com, I'm going to be on sources here. 
I can look up font family. Let's see. Is it right here? I have scripts. That's not going to be there. Okay. So I'm not a code expert, but font family, you'll see here, it actually pulled it up over on the easier drop down area. So I see Helvetica, I see Arial, and then here I see those same things. So that's another way to find fonts. So that's it. It is a little more difficult on Safari than Chrome. So if you do have two browsers, I recommend using Chrome. It's just a lot easier and a lot cleaner to find. I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. Be sure to check out my others. I've got lots of random tips all the time on creativity of any kinds. Visit thepigeonletters.com to snag all of the freebies and turn your notifications on so you can get updates of new videos. Okay, see you next time, bye.